Roger Ayers stands in between. Thanks for being here. Duke will have the opening possession of the ball game. Trey Jones brings it front side. He'll hand off to O'Connell. Passes in middle of the floor to Reddish. Cameron Johnson guarding him right now. Left wing goes to Jones, still outside the arc. Now to Reddish in the corner right to O'Connell. Penetrates into the paint, gets caught in the air, dumps it out to Barrett. His floater is good. And R.J. Barrett on the penetration and the floater gives Duke the early advantage. That's something Carolina did pretty well last time was limit his penetrating dribble, but that one to about nine feet. It'll be a tough one for him to miss. Cameron Johnson guarded by Bolden on a switch over to Kobe White. Carolina going right to left as we see it on the first possession. Heels dump it to May in the right corner. He tries to cross the court, does so to Williams with the pass. Left side three off the back iron. Cameron Johnson, the offensive rebound. Kicks it back out to Kobe White. He'll try a step back triple. Yes, sir. Well, he had Reddish in tight, backed him off, but then realized he was within half a step of the three-point line, so took it back another step. So 3-2, Tar Heels. Barrett, a couple of jab steps against Kenny Williams on the left wing, up high to Reddish. He'll drive on Cameron Johnson, lost the basketball over the baseline. It'll belong to the Tar Heels. 18-48 to go first half, 3-2. Barrett has a bucket for Duke. Kobe White with a triple for the Tar Heels. A yeah, pretty good indicator of how the referees are going to call this game because Cam Johnson initiated contact on Reddish's drive, and then Reddish went back into him offensively. Neither of those called, which I think sets a good tone for this game. Kobe White over to Luke May. He'll try a long distance three from straight away off the back iron. No good. O'Connell with the rebound. May had a good look, even though it was a couple of steps behind the arc due to a screen by Brooks. Jones on the drive out to Barrett. Feet set for three. No good there. Luke May cleans up the board for the heels. Still 3-2. Carolina with the lead. White ahead to May. Cuts on the left. Gets caught in the air. To Kenny Williams. Tips it to White. Another three. No good. May slaps the rebound up and in. You know, the first couple of minutes for these seniors, it's almost hard to catch your breath just because of the emotion surrounding this game. So, in a way, to watch Luke and Kenny both miss their first three pointers, it's almost somewhat expected. 5 2. Carolina on top. Barrett drives to the right baseline, tries to pass it into the left corner. His pass tipped out of bounds by the heels. So Duke will have possession. 14 on the shot clock. 17.44 to go first half. An early 5-2 Carolina advantage. All five of Carolina's points have been second chance points as Reddish almost went over and back, saving the inbounds, but he does save it. Ends up to Jones in the right sideline. He'll bounce to Reddish. Duke doesn't have great spacing on this possession. Gets it out to O'Connell, though. Misses the right wing three. Rebound to Kenny Williams. Williams, tough pass ahead to Brooks. Great catch. His shot, though, blocked from behind, and a foul is called on Bolden, and Bolden is hurt. Bolden is grabbing his left knee as he and Brooks went flying into the basket support after Bolden fouled Brooks from behind on the attempted fast break layup. Kyle, you just hate to see this. Gosh, Bolden, the junior out of DeSoto, Texas. Had really been playing well here as of late for the Blue Devils, as we mentioned. Nearly had a clean block on the defensive effort, but caught Brooks with the body. And they both went slamming hard into that basket support. Clock stopped at 17:27. First half, 5-2. Carolina with the advantage. Brooks will have two free throws, but Bolden is still down underneath the Tar Heel basket. Jose Fonseca, longtime trainer for the Blue Devils, is there attending to Bolden. Well, you I hope. believe Mike Krzyzewski is out as well. We're blocked by the Duke huddle, but former Duke player and now assistant John Shire is the man talking in that huddle, so I would have to think that Coach Krzyzewski is out looking at Bolden as well. Yeah, he, he landed and landed at the base of the support and the floor, kind of if you were to take that 90-degree angle. Delarie is going to check in for him, and he is now up to a standing position. 17.27 to go, first half. Tar Heels up 5-2 early. Brooks will be at the free throw line. Action stops after Bolden took a really nasty tumble into the basket support. He and Brooks both. And Bolden will have an arm around a teammate on either side as he's going to limp to the back. Kenny Williams goes to say something to him quickly. 
And second consecutive game in which these two teams have played that a Duke player is injured early, this time it is Bolden. So now everybody will try and regroup. As we told you, DeLaurier has checked in for the Blue Devils. Brooks will be to the line for two shots where he has made six of seven, but over the last seven games, it just hadn't been there very often. The sophomore's first free throw off the back iron, up in the air, and off the right side of the rim, no good. Had a long time to think about these two free throws. Remains 5-2. Second one is in for Brooks, and it's 6-2. Well, it's hard to start cheering immediately after somebody has, gets injured, but that free throw started to open the top for Carolina's fans. Reddish, long two, and a foul call on Cameron Johnson. Reddish came up way short on the shot, and Johnson called for the foul, hitting Reddish's arm on the jumper. So now Reddish will go to the line, where he is a 76% shooter, and he'll have two shots. And the first one spins in. 17-18 to go first half. Now 6-3. Carolina with the early lead. The thing about Reddish that I think is really understated is just how much his height is an asset for his style of play. I mean, we talk a lot about Cam Johnson and his size and how he's such a mismatch. But Reddish is taller than even Cam by an inch or so. Luke May slips the screen on the right side, gets the ball to Kenny Williams, left corner, tap past the White. White back at the top of the key. Duke gave him some space. He'll take the three, rattles out. Brooks fighting hard for the rebound off of Brooks last. Roger Ayers and Bill Covington had to confer for a moment. And it will belong to Duke. 16.57 to go in the first half. Good look there from White, who has already taken three three-pointers, made one. The Tar Heels, five of their six shots have been threes. They are one of five. Carolina leading 6-4, but Duke has the basketball. High screen for Jones to get to the middle of the floor for the Blue Devils. Over to Barrett. Jab step. Now he'll try a long three. No good. Luke May with the rebound. May pitch ahead to Kenny Williams out in front of everybody for the easy two. Well, you haven't had some of the early backside of the defense success that Carolina did over a Cameron, but what they have had, two push aheads that have resulted in points. 8-4. O'Connell left wing. In the corner left to Jones. Penetrates into the paint. He scoops it up from the right side. Started from the left, finished on the right. Kobe White flying front side. Had it tipped away for a moment. Able to get it back. 8-6 the score. May, guarded by Delarier, bounces right elbow to Brooks. To Kenny Williams, behind to Cameron Johnson. Long look at a triple, no good. May gets the rebound. Now he's in a fight for the loose ball. It's loose on the deck, and eventually Duke out of there with it. Barrett. Going to come front side, left of the lane. Boy, he used his body to push Johnson away and banked it in. Now he flexes his muscles as he ties the game. Heels push ahead to Brooks and has it blocked from behind by Delaria as he tried to dunk it. No whistle. Barrett as Duke has tied it up at eight to O'Connell. O'Connell's traveling inside the arc. Carolina has the basketball. Same five on the floor for the Heels, but Nasir Little has come to the scorer's table. As Kobe White has it against the strong challenge of Trey Jones on the left sideline in the front court. Bounces up high to Kenny Williams. Whips it down low to May in heavy traffic. His shot is blocked off the backboard by Reddish, but all the way back out to Cameron Johnson. Johnson will try the long distance. Three, nothing but net. Well, right now there's a real push to recover back inside, and you certainly would think that after the first meeting of two and a half weeks ago, and you see 62 points in the paint, but Carolina's been challenged on all of that thus far. Barrett on the drive and scores in the foul and then stares at the Carolina students. The foul is going to be on May. That's his first. And second on the Tar Heels, Barrett already with six of Duke's ten points. And he'll have a free throw to try to tie it up at the 1452 mark. Jack White has checked in for Duke. Delarier is out. You know, I think this is... Not unique to how Duke plays but this year, but it is unique to what has affected Carolina. That was the thing that you thought might be most susceptible on Carolina's defense the first time around. It was not. 
But tonight, Barrett has proven to be a real penetrating problem. Game tied at 11. Kenny Williams has picked up his dribble up high over to Luke May. May fakes the handoff to Kobe White. Drives it on the left. Takes hard contact from Jack White and missed the layup. No whistle. Here come the Blue Devils. This year, Little did check in for Carolina for Garrison Brooks during that last timeout. O'Connell has it on the left wing in the front court for the Blue Devils. Now to Reddish, guarded by Little. He'll fire a three. Got it from straight away. Duke has its first lead at 14 to 11. Carolina pitches ahead to Little. He's going to truck into the paint. Fires it too hard off the back iron. Long rebound tipped out to Jones and the Devils. Duke on the run. Barrett finishes on the left side. He has nine. And suddenly Duke's up five, 16 to 11. It's a 6-0 Duke run. One of the things Carolina is fighting is trying to initiate their offense. It's been way out high. Boy, White spins, goes behind the back, gets to the 10 and lays it home. That was a rather unbelievable move. That stopped what was actually an 8-0 Duke run as Reddish wildly into the paint loses the basketball. Johnson out of there with it for Carolina. Heels down three, but on the move. Johnson goes deep right side. Duke took a tumble underneath. Johnson bounces to May. Extra pass left side to Little. A step back three. Yes! Thought Little may attack the rim. The left side of the lane was open, but instead he stepped back and drained the triple. Game tied at 16. Barrett. Boy, he has been aggressive. Kicks it out to Reddish. No good on the three. Jack White with the rebound. Misses the stick back. May gets the rebound for the heels. Game tied seven minutes in. White fires to Johnson. Jab step. Dribbles in. Nothing there. Goes back. Reset to Kenny Williams. 15 on the shot clock. Johnson, a long three. Right sideline. No good. Rebound caroms all the way to the free throw. Excuse me, the three-point line. And Trey Jones. Jones now going to attack Kobe White. And I believe a traveling violation is called on Jones before a foul was called on White as Jones tried to push it up. So the travel will turn it over to the Tar Heels as Jack White checks out for Duke. And let's see who came back in. Delarier for the Blue Devils. Brandon Robinson has checked in for the Tar Heels. Cameron Johnson to get a breather. And now Duke showing some full court pressure. Also really barking at the officials. Bill Covington Jr. is now talking to Roy Williams as Goldwire, Jordan Goldwire, has checked in for Duke. 12.38 to go first half. As intense as you thought it might be. 16-16. Game all tied. Duke's led by as many as five. Heels led by four early on. Kenny Williams floats it to May, back to the basket right side. Long fall away from the right of the lane, no good. Nothing but Blue Devils underneath, it goes to Trey Jones. He'll kick it ahead to Barrett, alley-oop for the finish to Delarier. Well, that's what happens when you got a guy like Barrett, he commands a lot of attention. Cariels the other way, Kenny Williams for the easy layup right side. Duke never found him in transition. 18-18. Eight minutes gone by. Reddish pulls up behind a screen, pops out from the left elbow. Little flies in for the board. The freshman will bring it front side quickly to Brandon Robinson. Back up high to Little. He and White were both there. Little ended up grabbing it and giving it to Kobe at the center jump circle. White, long three, right wing. Looks a little too strong. It is. Brandon Robinson saves it, but to Duke. So it's going to be a five on four for the Blue Devils. Barrett will pull up, miss the jumper. Luke May with the rebound. Both teams a little cold right now. Game tied at 18. May attacks hard on the left. Slick pass to Little for the two-handed finish. 20 to 18. There are a lot of tire singles flashing right now. 11-10. I think both teams a little gas. They are definitely gas. Little gets caught up on a screen. That leaves Reddish open for the triple right corner. Reddish has eight. He and Barrett have combined for 17 of Duke's 21. Blue Devils by a point. Little on the left wing. Guarded by Reddish. Up high to Brandon Robinson. He'll fire it over to Kenny Williams. Now to Luke May. May lost the basketball on the drive. It's going to be a two-on-two. Two. Jones the other way. Big step through traffic. Lays it in. He is such a talented guard, and he's really taking the initiative. You can tell. They said, take it to the basket, take it to the basket, and then when you've done it, do it again. Duke shooting 
23-20, Blue Devils on top. May with a nice pass to Little, waits underneath for traffic to clear and lays it home. You know, one of the things that is happening, however, is that if you get it down inside and you can avoid going up a little bit of a pump fake, it'll stop, especially Reddish and Barrett. They're worried about protecting some fouls and want to be a smart player in this game. Reddish tried to bounce a pass behind his back. It goes to Kenny Williams for the finger roll. And Barrett was chasing Kenny Williams but gave up about a step after half court. 24-23, Tar Heels by one. Long stretch here without a stop in the action. Barrett, boy, about four Tar Heels came to him. Dishes off to Jones, drives in hard on the left, missed the shot. Rebound slapped out to Barrett. Duke will reset. 9.40 to go first half, heels up a point. Barrett whips it down low. The heels lost to Laurier, and he's able to lay it in. Heels lucky May didn't pick up a foul as he fell over top of Delaurier. Well, I tell you, they're lucky. That would have been a terrible second foul for him with nine and a half minutes on the clock, and he's... He could have been hit with that easily. Blue Devils up by one. Little thought about the three, doesn't take it. Instead bounces over to Kobe White. Shot clock down to 13. White backs up to the timeline. Goes to Little right sideline. Crouched over, guarded by Goldwire. Takes a peek at the clock. Little in heavy traffic. He's going to go right to the cup and force it. Oh, it almost went in. Thought it was going to drop, but it popped out. Here comes Duke the other way with a one-point lead. Barrett will go. He's blocked by Kobe White out of bounds. And that will finally, for these two teams, stop the action. As the inbounds goes to Barrett, had a clean look at three. No good, but White able, Jack White, able to check, check, uh, chase. I'll get it there. The rebound down in the left corner. We'll tell you about the five on the floor in just a second. Right now, Barrett has seven woods on his back in the post. Crosses the floor left side to O'Connell. Extra pass to Trey Jones. He'll try and drive on Playtech. Has the ball stripped to Goldwire. He sends it out to White. Extra pass to Barrett. Can't finish left side. Cameron Johnson rips the rebound away. So Carolina has the ball down one. Seventh Woods. He's going to attack the rim and gets a hard challenge from Jack White. No good. Rebound fought for by both teams and going to go out of bounds off the Tar Heels. There has been a ton of contact both ways when teams are going up at the rim. The five on the floor for Carolina right now. Woods, Playtech, Johnson, Little, and Brooks. 25-24 Duke. 8.15 to go in the first half. Reddish comes back in for the Blue Devils during that last timeout. Jones using a screen over to Jack White, top right. Can't drive on Brooks. He'll have to hand it off to Reddish. Reddish into the paint and fouled by Cameron Johnson. That's two on Cameron Johnson. There have not been many fouls called, period. Just four. Three on Carolina, one on Duke. But two of the three on the Tar Heels belong to Johnson. The leading scorer for Carolina, nearly 17 points per game. And Kenny Williams has come to the scores table. We'll see if he gets Johnson as Reddish's first free throw is good. He will indeed replace Johnson. So big foul there as Cameron Johnson exits with two fouls at the 8-0-1 mark. And Reddish, perfect from the foul line. He's taken three of Duke's four. He will now have taken four of the five and made all of his. He has ten. Barrett has nine. So those two have 19 of Duke's. 27. Little penetrates in. Oh, the floater rattles out. Little has had several shots from right in front of the rim that have just bounced out. Transition triple for O'Connell. Boy, missed it badly. Little with the rebound. He's got his head up as he sprints down the court and turns it over though. in this back and forth game early on. Luke May coming to the scorer's table. Reddish, who has been a problem for the heels, has it in the right corner. Kicks it up to Jones. Now left side to O'Connell. Guarded by Little. Back up high to Jones. Passes right side to Reddit. Tries to drive baseline against Playtech. His pass down the baseline. Tipped away by Carolina. And Playtech on the ground will take a timeout. You talk about how Duke has shored up that interior uh, scoring that Carolina had a lot of success with. Brooks just 0 of 1 here with 7 minutes left in the first half. And Duke out rebounding Carolina 16 to 12 as Woods entry pass to Brooks tipped away from behind by Barrett. So the third turnover for the Tar Heels. O'Connell a transition 3 no good. Rebound to Carolina. 
Kobe White at the scores table for the Heels. Seventh Woods has it in the front court. Fires over left sideline to Playtech. Quickly out of his hands to Williams. In the post to May, left block. May, a couple of pivots. The hook shot won't go. Barrett cleans the glass. May has done a lot of things well, but has not shot well this after this evening for the Heels. Meanwhile, Reddish strips the net on a two the other way. May is just one of six for Carolina, who's now down five, matching the Tar Heels' largest disadvantage. 6-17 to go first half. Playtech to Kenny Williams, top of the key, outside the arc, out of Woods. He'll bounce it to Brooks, left of the lane, back to the basket. Finds Woods, cutting in, tried to dish it to Williams. Williams saves it, back underneath the basket to Woods. He bounces out to Williams, right corner, three. Why not? Well, it was sloppy, but the result was good. I'll tell you what, you couldn't have followed that course of events. Reddish will try and answer. Does it from the left corner. Reddish has been huge for Duke. Already now with 15. Carolina back down five. Brooks hands off to Kenny Williams. He'll try again and hit again. Well, Carolina was in desperate need of fighting that fire with fire. We've talked about how Duke's been able to find and connect on several of their offensive sides. So Cam Johnson and Kobe White were at the table, but all of a sudden Kenny Williams said, Raised his hand and took advantage. Barrett just bowling into Kenny Williams. It's going to be an offensive foul as both players were banging into each other. Foul on Barrett, his first. Just the second on Duke. There's only been five total fouls called as Carolina will bring back in White Johnson with two fouls and Luke May. 5.13 to go in the first half 32 30 duke on top kenny williams now with 12 on 5 of 6 shooting for carolina reddish has 15 for duke cameron johnson left sideline in the front court for carolina back middle of the floor to kenny williams williams hands off to kobe white shot clock at 15. white cut off on the drive right side he'll back up to Williams. He'll try another triple off the front iron. Brooks tips the rebound, still battling for it. Out of bounds off Brooks as he and Delarie were fighting for the loose ball. You know, it's interesting. You look at the players on both teams and how it's been such a, a game of endurance so far. There are three players on Duke's team, Redis, Jones, and Barrett, that have yet to come out of the game. So we'll see if there's any benefit to rest. Reddish with a sweet spin and lays it in. He has 17. He had a career high, 27 against Carolina and Cameron. And he is bringing it here. Cameron Johnson drives the other way, scoops it in right of the lane. It is back and forth, 34-32 Duke. 4.15 to go first half. There's Reddish again. That three is no good. He had gotten free behind the screen. Carolina has it. Heels down two. White has Delarier guarding him on a switch. Goes to Johnson left sideline. Three is short. May had a inside position. Gets the rebound. Dribbles out. Gives it to Kenny Williams. They'll reset out to Kobe White. White still has Delarier guarding him. White's going to take him left side, floater, no good, rebound to Brooks, goes up, and he's fouled. For Tario fans, first free throw, too strong. Brooks is just one of three at the line. Duke is five of five from the stripe, and Brooks missed them both. He's about the only one out there that Duke doesn't mind seeing go to the line with a 66 season average from the foul stripe. There are a lot of other ones they want to avoid putting on there. Foul off the ball, Eric, on Robinson, who checked in for Cam Johnson with those two fouls. Jones, the inbound man for Duke, baseline right. Sends it way out to Reddish. Quick extra pass to Barrett. Drives hard from the top left. Passes to Jack White, right corner. Hard drive, dumps it to Delarie, who goes up and under for two. You know, Gloria doesn't see a lot of time, comparatively speaking. He and Bolden split it, but He's in the right place at the right time and plays a real third fiddle, if you will, to a lot of these guys, but he's doing the right play. He's doing a lot right. Robinson gets an open look for three off the front iron. No, and an over-the-back foul on Luke May on the rebound. So 
This couple of minutes coming out of that timeout has gone very poorly for the Heels. Brooks missing two free throws. Then Robinson and May each picking up fouls, including the second on Luke. And Duke also with a bucket in there. Brooks sprints to the scorer's table, but late getting there, so May will have to play this possession at least with two fouls. Duke up four. How many times do we see rebounding play such a pivotal role as the ball is knocked out of bounds by Kenny Williams on a Barrett drive to the right-hand side? Brooks now will come in and get May, but to the point, Duke leads the rebounding battle 20-15, to 15, and that's not insignificant with as much as going on on each possession. I'll tell you what, these are big minutes here as Reddish will try a long two, no good. Garrison Brooks fighting for the rebound out of bounds off Duke. These are big minutes with no May and no Johnson. Each with two fouls. Carolina down four with 2.40 to go in the half. Kobe White with five points at an early three, but has been relatively quiet. We see her little. Gives it back to White in the center jump circle. Shot clock down to 15. White guarded by Jack White of Duke. White behind the back dribble. Fires over to Little, top of the key. He's going to drive hard left of the lane. Pulls up and strips the net. Nine for Little. Back to a two-point Duke lead with 2.08 to go. First half, 36-34. Jones directing traffic as he dribbles up high. To Barrett. Barrett goes hard left baseline. That's the third foul on Barrett. He does go to the bench. O'Connell comes in for him. Kobe White battling hard with Jones. Dumps it right of the lane to Little. Jab step against Delarier. Little pump fake. Picks up his dribble. Needs some help. Up high to Brooks. Now to Williams. Back to Little. Shot clock down to 10. Little one-on-one -on -one with White. He's going to drive hard on the left. Goes up. Misses Brooks. Offensive rebound and put in. But he forced White to come over. And a timeout Duke here. White. Hands off to Reddish up high. He'll pass it left corner to Trey Jones. Jones going to pull up for a tough two. Nothing but net from left of the lane. 38-36. 105 to go. Kenny Williams guarded by Delarier. Drives hard on the right. His shot no good. Little almost able to get the tip dunk put back, but it belongs to Duke. Blue Devils in transition. Jones blocked off the glass by White, but Delarier there to clean it up. It's a four-point Duke lead. Under a minute to go in the half. Big possession, it feels like, here for Carolina. Kenny Williams with it on the high weed. Trying to pull the defense out so you can have some success driving the ball. Kobe White weaving to the cup, flips it in. 40-38, to 38, shot clock off. When Carolina does that, they have been pretty darn successful, but they've got to get the rebounded edge back in check. 15 seconds as Jones dribbles in the center jump circle. 10 seconds. Jack White with the basketball. Tries to hand off to Reddish. Kenny Williams knocks it away. Reddish has it. A guarded step back three. No good. Rebound to Brandon Robinson, and the horn will sound. Carolina will have the ball first, moving left to right as we see it here in half number two. Luke May, back to the basket, right wing. Now faces up, spins against Barrett, goes up and lost the ball. Duke out of traffic with it to O'Connell. He'll pass it left corner to Trey Jones. So the Tar Heels with an empty possession didn't even get a shot to the rim. On the initial try, Jones is straight away two-pointer, spins out. Cameron Johnson with the rebound. He's heading all the way down the floor and lays it in. Well, I thought I was waiting and waiting, thought he might dish it. He said, no, I'll do this myself. Right. Getting tied at 40. He kept his body right there on the defender and was able to stay even with or slightly ahead of it. Reddish kicks it to Jones. Another shot for him, no good. Long rebound to Kenny Williams. That was a three from Trey Jones. Williams ahead to Johnson, crossover, pull up, free throw line. Hello! I'll tell you, it started off with that first play by May, which was just kind of an iso out of halftime. You thought, mm, maybe not your number one option, but all of a sudden you see 
a fast break and a good penetrating dribble for a 16-footer. Those are good options for Carolina's offense. Heels with their first lead since about midway first half. Barrett pulls up at the free throw line. Too strong. Rebound to May. Gives it to Kobe White. Boy, a tough push ahead. Great catch by Brooks. He's really deep. Spins back out to Johnson. A triple off the front iron. No good. Rebound to Bear. Boy, he has Reddish all alone. Didn't pass it to him. Drives. Now he gives it to Reddish. And a foul occurs. Yeah, a foul is going to be on Kenny Williams. That'll be his first of the game. It was dangerous territory for Cam Johnson. It was running step for step with they call it They're calling it on White, Eric. That's his first. And it will put Reddish to the line for two shots where he was 4 of 4 in the first half. Duke as a team was 5 of 5. 42-40. And it stays that way as Reddish is too strong with the first free throw right back at him after it kicked off the back rim. O'Connell will quickly check out for Duke. And Jack White has entered the ballgame. 18-19 to play. Tariel's 42, Duke 40. And the second free throw good for Reddish. First point of the second half for Duke. White creeping front court. Bounce pass to Kenny Williams. He fires it to May. Tough three from the left. Yes! Kind of falling away over Jack White. Well, you know, you, you want to see Luke involved from a scoring standpoint. Coach Williams has got to have him involved from a scoring standpoint. Barrett able to answer and then shushes the crowd as he stands and puts the finger up to the lips. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a foul up on the floor, Eric, the other way. As Kobe White was trying to work his way around the defense, DeLaurier picks up his first. So Barrett's been pretty outspoken with his uh, interactions, shall we say. 17.48 to go. Heels by one. Barrett now with 12. Luke May. Up high. Over to Kenny Williams. On the right. To a cutting May. Right baseline. Fall away is good. The uh, thing that got that, that play happened because there was a cross cut or cross court cut by May. It gave him a good opportunity and then just a heck of a tough shot on that fade. Reddish drives from left to right across the top of the key. Over to Jones. Now to Barrett circling into the paint. Tough floater. No. Jack White caught it and then tried to push it up but it was short. Cameron Johnson with the rebound. Heels up three and on the move. Johnson drives. Back out to a trailing May for three. No good. Rebound tip by Cameron Johnson to Kenny Williams. Beats that triple. Yeah! Heels by six. I think Duke wants a timeout. Trey Jones to Reddish. Reddish slips and falls, able to save it out to Jones. Now to Barrett, who strips the net on a three. Boy, what a key save there by Reddish. That was almost a turnover, but it ends up into a three-pointer. 50 to 47. Barrett's made two threes this half. Brooks on the left sideline. Strong stress pass, chest pass to Kobe White. To Cam Johnson. Tried to drive and dish to May, but it was tipped away by the Blue Devils. Fast break run out. Reddish can't hit the shot. DeLaurier saves the rebound, but fires it right to Cameron Johnson. Johnson falls down the other direction. Ball being slapped around. And I'm not sure. They're going to give it to Duke. As there were bodies everywhere, Jack White slapped it last. I think he hit it off of May's shin or knee area. Out of bounds. By the way, Kenny Williams now with 15, including three three-pointers. First time since the Virginia game that he's made three threes. He had been just two of 19 in his last five games. 16.05 to go. 50-47. to 47. Carolina led by six. Duke hit a three and has the ball back. Barrett. At over 30 in the game in Cameron. 33. He has 15 tonight. Reddish another three. No. The two teams battle for the rebound. Boy, Carolina left Barrett on the inbound. Open for three. And he gets the rattle in. It rattled around. Hit the backboard and dropped in. Don't know how Carolina left him that open. But Barrett now with nine this half. All on threes. And 18 for the game. So Duke has gone six straight points to take the or to tie it up. But Kobe White. Gives Carolina the lead right back. Going back door, getting the pass from May, and laying it home. Well, and he has size on Jones. So once he caught it, even though he was underneath the basket, he was able to go back up really quickly and avoid anybody messing with him. Barrett dumps it down to Delarier. 
Passes it in the corner to Reddish, to Jones. He'll kick it in the corner to Jack White, misses the three. Battle for the rebound belongs to Cameron Johnson in the right corner. Here comes Carolina on the move up to White to Brooks. Challenged at the rim, but a foul called on Jack White. Brooks nearly had an enormous poster on White. But the dunk wouldn't drop. Brooks does get two free throws. He will continue to be the only Tar Heel to shoot free throws. He is just one of four from the line. Duke as a team is six of seven. Well, it was the only option for Brooks was to take it with both hands. And you know, Garrison's been awfully good all season as he misses another free throw. So now Garrison just one of five from the foul line tonight. He's typically a much better free throw. He gets a little bit of encouragement from the sideline with Coach Williams. But he had to go strong this time. This is another one. So Brooks, one of six. He was a 66% shooter coming in. He is the only Tariel to take free throws and has struggled. The two-point Carolina lead. Barrett out to Reddish. Pass to the left baseline and Jack White. He dribbles to the sideline. He's in a heap of trouble. Has to save it out to Reddish. Reddish able to split a double team and a foul up high. As Reddish split the double it's team. May. It's called on May, and that's his third. So he becomes the second player in this game, key player with three fouls. Barrett has three all in the first half. And now May with three. Brooks will check out. Nasir Little comes in. 14.32 to go. Carolina 52, Duke 50. Jones will be the man to throw it in. Baseline left. Sends it up that left sideline to Reddish. Quickly right back to Jones with the pass. Jones travels as he lowered his head into the midsection of Cameron Johnson and just fumbled his way into the paint. You know, Carolina's done a pretty good job of just backpedaling with your hands up at times on an out-of-control drive, and it's paid benefit or paid dividends for them. Nine turnovers for Duke. May still playing with three fouls. Passes to Cameron Johnson, left wing to White. Down low to May. Bounces in the right corner to Little. He'll penetrate. Back. Turn. And he's called for a traveling violation as his feet slid as he tried to back his way into the paint. You know, if you the first team to stop about two, three possessions in a row, it's, it's going to have a real chance of winning this thing. 52-50. Tariels with the lead. 14.03 to go. Been a real tug of war. Reddish. Going hard against Little. Can't finish in the paint. Rebound. Out of bounds off Duke. The Duke bench is really frustrated with the officiating right now. As the Tar Heels inbound. White guarded by Jones. Two really good freshman guards. On the right side, White left-handed dribble all the way to the paint, flips it up, no good. Cardinals tip the rebound twice, and then it's knocked out by Duke. So Carolina will have possession, 13.40 to go. Little and May were slapping the rebound around before eventually the Blue Devils poked it out. You know, Carolina had some success with a high kind of weave up top. They haven't done that much here in this half, but it opened up some penetrating dribble. We'll see if it does again. White, the long inbound to Little. Little fires a pass towards Kenny Williams midsection. Still out near the timeline left side. Now Kobe White. White looks like he wants to drive. He does. Boy, a ton of contact with Reddish. And no call. It's Blue Devil basketball. He and Reddish slammed into each other at the rim. Now Reddish able to cross over Little and lay it in to tie the game. Boy, his length has really been a factor tonight. May drives hard the other way. And he's called for a travel as he tried the jump stop right side. Game tied at 52. Duke will have the basketball. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. Carolina's gotten into a lot more of a one-on-one -on -one game here in the last four or five possessions. And you can tell that's just not what Carolina is as equipped to do. And so a lot of these moves that are simply one-on-one -on -one moves that have resulted in a travel are just out of character. Missed shot by Reddish. Here comes Carolina. Williams turns on the gas. Tried to get it to Little. That's the fifth turnover oh. of the half. 
as the pass off the mark. Barron misses the floater the other way. Here comes Carolina. Game still tied at 52. Johnson does not take the transition three. Drives in on the right. Boy, a ton of contact at the rim. No whistle. Duke with the basketball. Man, it is getting physical when these two teams drive to the 10. 52 all. DeLaurier up high to Barrett. Gets a clean look at three. No, short. Little with the rebound. 12-15 to go. Roy Williams calls a set from the sideline. Probably smart. You want to make sure you get a shot here. They'll get one. Johnson right sideline. Three. Got it. Roy Williams imploring his team. 55-52. Seven for Johnson this half. Jones to Barrett. The left-handed free throw is good by Garrison Brooks. Second free throw missed, and Kenny Williams will bring in the rebound. So it's 55-53, Tar Heels, 11.40 to go. White joined by Williams, Johnson, Little, and May on the floor. White will eventually pull up for three. Nothing but net from the top left. I'll tell you, there are a couple guys on this team, obviously Cam Johnson won and Kobe White won, that can just do that, and it's not a terrible shot even when they miss. Like Jones barreling out of control into the paint, able to kick it out to Barrett. Back to Jones, drives in, gets it to White, who scores from the left. So Jack White with the bucket. Kobe White over to Kenny Williams. 58-55. Johnson cutting to the rim and has his shot blocked. It goes out of bounds off of the Blue Devils. Record with 72. May checks out. Garrison Brooks is in for Carolina. 58-55 Tar Heels. 10-50 to go. Kobe White on the left. Gets by DeLaurier. Layup. Good in the foul. There's no letting off the gas pedal. And one of the things Duke has done a really good job of this game is he makes the free throw. So six points in the last two possessions for Kobe White. But if you take your pedal or take your foot off the pedal, Duke will catch up and they will gang gang defense in the paint. But on the times where you've just been able to go and never have to slow down, you can beat them there. Reddish drives right baseline out to Barrett. Right back to Reddish. He'll try a contested three. Air ball. Kobe White catches it. White bringing it front side in a hurry to Kenny Williams. Pump fake on the three. Drives baseline. And no good. Another big collision as Duke comes out of there with it. Barrett the other way. He'll dump it left corner to Jones. His three spins in. Boy, that little rascal is a tough one. 61-58. Carolina's lead is three with ten minutes to go. Cameron Johnson in the front court to White. White. Oh, a step back three from the right wing. Are you kidding me? Nine consecutive points for White. 64 to 58. And White has something to say. He and Jones are going toe to toe. Well, there's a lot of talented freshmen out here tonight. Barrett, tough shot right of the lane. No good. Team slam the glass. Who gets it? Delarier falls to the deck. Both teams try to grab the loose ball. There are, boy, six, seven bodies on the floor. It'll be a jump. And Kenny Williams getting a breather. Jones having some trouble getting it in. Finally sends it out to Barrett. Robinson guarding him. Tough matchup here. 64-58. Barrett. Picks up his dribble up high. Robinson closes in. Over to Reddish. Reddish on the hard drive. Is fouled on the shot by Little. Shot came up short. Foul on Little, his first. That's now five fouls on Carolina this half. With 9-12 to play. Reddish, two shots. He has been very good at the line. Five of six. Has 20 points for the game. Leading scorer for Duke. And he strips the net on the first. Jack White will enter. Delaurier exits for the Blue Devils. Five on the floor for Carolina. White, Robinson, Little, May, Brooks. 64-59, Carolina. 9-12 to go. Second one for Reddish. Good as well. Kenny Williams will check right back in. He was not on the bench long. He'll get in the sear Little. So now that five is White, Williams, Robinson, May, and Brooks. 
9.08 to go. Heels by four. Luke May, middle of the floor. Boy, a dangerous pass to Kenny Williams. He'll drive in on the right. His shot was blocked off the grass, but Brooks picks it up and dunks it home. 66-60. 8.50 to go. Left corner, O'Connell. He'll send it to Barrett. Crossover. Back to O'Connell. He'll try the three from the corner. Short. Luke May with the board. He'll slow it down, get it to White. Heels up six. White in heavy traffic. Top of the key. Now he attacks. Floater rolls off. May tips it up. No. Brooks tips it up, and a foul's called. That one looks good, and it is. Boy, feel good for the sophomore from Lafette, Alabama. He knew. Everybody knew. He had had a tough time getting it in. <laughs> he kissed his hand and pointed up, and Kenny Williams burst out in laughter. Oh, that one pops out. Boy, it went 90% of the way home. 67-60. Tar Heels by seven, largest lead. 8.24 to go. Carolina Duke in the Smith Center. Jones. Center jump circle. Dribbles to the left. Hesitates. Drives. Left corner to Barrett. Barrett knocks over Kenny Williams. It's a charge. That's four on Barrett. Watch a high screen and roll with May and White and a flaring May. Tar Heels have the court pretty wide open right this second. To Williams. Now to May deep on the left. May. Dribbles to the top, floats it over to White in the right corner. Jab step, three-pointer, yes! <laughs> he called it. I'm telling you what, I didn't say it right, but White whispered in May's ear on the way up. He, he told him exactly what to do. It's a 10-point Tar Heel lead, 70 to 60. White with 21. That kid is something. Barrett. Double team. Sends it in the corner to Redis. Drives baseline. Draws contact. Misses the shot. Rebound tipped by White to May. Here comes Carolina. Ten-point lead and on the move. Kobe White drives to Brooks for the Thunder. Hello. And somebody's having fun. Forcing them into those lengthy shots. 7-10 to go. Barrett drives hard. Turns it over. Tried to get it to a cutting to Laurier. Here come the Tar Heels. Kenny Williams will pull up for the two off the mark. May tips it up. He battles around. No good. Rebound kicked out. Who's got it? Kenny Williams for the Tar Heels. To Cameron Johnson. Had an open three. Doesn't take it. He'll send it to Kobe White. How about another? That one's too strong from the left. May the offensive rebound. He'll circle back out to Kenny Williams. He'll try a triple. That's good. Carolina wouldn't quit. 75 to 60. Williams with a season high 18 on senior night. Reddish tries to answer. No good. Johnson with the rebound. Here come the Tar Heels. 75 60. Johnson stops on the right wing. He'll get it to White. White penetrates, has to send it out to Kenny Williams. Slips a bit. Williams feeling it. Long two. No rebound. Punched up in the air. It belongs to Duke. 6 12 to play. Barrett going hard. Williams staying with him. Barrett drives left baseline and a blocking foul this time on Kenny Williams. His one if it's a common foul. Jones gets it into Barrett. Can't finish through contact. Gets his own rebound. Blocked by Brooks. Barrett gets it again and is able to score. Barrett with 12 this half. Kobe White pushes it ahead to Kenny Williams. Back to White. Oh, May, a quick three. Short. Rebound to Laurier. That was a quick shot from the Tar Heels there. 75-62. Down low to Barrett. Lays it in. So back-to-back -back buckets for Barrett. And Cameron Johnson has slipped and fallen. They're going to stop the action to have some cow guys come out and dry it up. Seventy-five, sixty-four, five thirty-seven to play. Barrett with twenty-three. Reddish has twenty-two. White twenty-one for Carolina. Kenny Williams a season high eighteen. Johnson with a double-double, twelve points, ten rebounds for Carolina. Five thirty-two to go as White gets in front side, guarded tightly by Trey Jones. Still. White dribbling, able to work by Jones. Step back three, left wing, too strong. Carolina settling for some long shots now and hadn't made them here in the last few possessions. Well, a little bit of a heat check for Kobe White. Barrett, who scored the last four. Jones is hurt off the ball for Duke. They miss a three. Rebound chased down by Williams. Looked like Jones got hit in the breadbasket. He'll stay in the game. 
5.02 to go. Kobe White has Jack White guarding him. He'll try and take him to the cup left side. Shot blocked at the rim. White spills on the baseline. Got to get up and go. Reddish the other way for Duke. Lost the ball out of bounds. It'll belong to the heels. And it's a charging foul. Let's see. The officials are going to come well, together. He just called it. Bill Covington Jr. He said no foul, but the ball belongs to Carolina. Covington called the charge from up high. Roger Ayers was underneath the basket and said it was just a lost ball out of bounds. Possession to Carolina. Well, this is an awfully good officiating crew, so hard to be nitpicky. Carolina's missed its last four and now just one of its last eight. 75-64, Tario. Carolina had had a lot of Ooh. success with the pace. They were getting open court, creating turnovers, letting that be offense. Now they've been resigned to half court. Long three from Cam Johnson missed off the backboard into the hands of Trey Jones. Again, Tarios are taking a bunch of quick threes. Jones can't hit a triple on the other side. May saves the rebound to Kenny Williams. Both teams dive to the floor for the loose ball. It ends up to Jack White. He misses a three. Luke May pulled to the ground on the rebound. And it will be a foul on Trey Jones. 75-64. Kobe White comes front side. Right wing for White. Over to Kenny Williams. His pass tipped by Jack White. Everything, but Carolina has been in a drought. One of their last nine right. behind the basket. Kobe White gets the inbounds in the backcourt. Gets a high screen. Picks up his dribble on the right sideline. Gets it to Kenny Williams. Shot clock getting low. It's down to two, and Williams lost the ball as he tried to drive in. Yeah, bad possession. Brooks rejects Reddish on the layup attempt, but Delarie gets the rebound and is fouled by Brooks. His second, seventh on Carolina, but it will be two shots for Delarie. It was a great block the really first was. time around, and then just the thing is, I think everybody thought that that was going to be the end of the play. And then all the white shirts that were there forgot to finish it by picking the basketball up. Orioles have not scored in more than six minutes. That can't be right. 75-64 is what our monitor said, but that doesn't feel quite right. Heels have struggled here from the floor as of late. But not that bad. Here comes Delarie with two shots. Well too strong on the first one. He's a 57.5% shooter. Second one. No good. May. Another board. 3.33 to go. 75-64 Carolina. Heels opening up the floor. Garrison Brooks in the middle of it. Now to the right sideline. Pushed way out is Cameron Johnson. Johnson drives hard. Bounce pass left corner. Kenny Williams, the senior, misses the three. Rebound foul on Brooks. That's his third. And it's going to be a one and one for Duke on the other side. So it's going to stop the clock and give Duke an opportunity to score with the clock stop. 318 to go. Still 75-64. And Jack White, a very good free throw shooter at 84%. In fact, the best on Duke's team will be there for the one and one. It's good. The official number on the drought for Carolina is 3 minutes and 29 seconds with no points. 75-65 now after the first free throw by White. And he switches them both. He has four all this half. Down to a nine-point lead for Carolina. Heels running their offense in the half court. Kenny Williams. Right wing. Gets the screen from May. Over to Cameron Johnson. Clean look at three. Too strong. Carolina continues to struggle. Yeah, Cam Johnson bobbled it on the catch. He wanted desperately to shoot it, so he did. But and a, Oh, and now a foul as Reddish goes in. Cam Johnson swiped down and hit him across the arm. So once again, Duke will head to the foul line. This will be free throws on three straight possessions now. Yep, and they've already shot 15 for the game. Carolina only nine. They've made 11 of their 15, and Reddish has been really good. He's 7 of 8. These will be two shots for Reddish. Two strong on the first. 
2.54 to play, 75-66. Carolina has not scored in almost four minutes. Led by 15, it's down to nine, and now down to eight. Boy, Carolina needs a bucket. They've got a switch. Now Alex White is on Kobe White. We'll see what happens if they can get back. Trey Jones will stay up. Still a mismatch. White has it for Carolina. Tries to bounce it in the paint. May has to go get the loose ball. And he turns it over as he tried to pass it across the paint. So another poor offensive possession. Carolina on the wrong side of a 7-0 run. Up eight. 2.30 to go. It is all about momentum and all about spurts. Barrett to Reddish. Back to Barrett. Step back. Guarded three. Good. Cariel's lead is just five. And Roy Williams is going to take a timeout. Seen a lot of movement. That's when things have opened, and you've seen the likes of Kobe White or Luke May get an easy basket right at the cup. White just now gets it front side. 2.03 to go. May has it on the right sideline. Up high to Garrison Brooks. Now to White left wing. Under two minutes to go. Cariels looking for their first point since the 6.47 mark. Shot clock down to eight. White weaves through traffic. Has it tipped away. Picks it up. Boy, launches one way. He didn't need to shoot it that quickly. And he misses it from the center jump circle almost. Air ball over the baseline. Well, you got a chance to get it back right now. It's a bad decision. One of the few bad decisions Kobe White has made this evening. But right now, it's all about defense. Yep. Heels up five. 140 to go. Barrett, who has 26. Drives left side. Can't finish at the rim. Luke May picks it up. He'll bounce it to White. 130 to go. Carolina quickly to Kenny Williams. Down low to May. He'll bounce it back out to Williams. Carolina trying to burn a little clock. 120 to play. White has it. 75-70 Tar Heels. Shot clock down to 12. Brooks to May. Shot clock down to five. White down low to Brooks. His dunk blocked from behind. Roy Williams furious. No call. One minute to play. Barrett again. Pulls up. His three is blocked by Kenny Williams. Tipped into Brooks's hands. Now Cameron Johnson. Johnson comes front side and he is fouled. It's up and in. He'll get the back in. Well, first point since the 6.47 mark. A senior having the opportunity to make a big bucket here. Got a both for possession game for Carolina. 77-70. Excuse me, that's not really true. Three. Duke the other way. Tough three by Reddish. No. Rebound slapped out to Barrett. Clean look for three. No good. Long rebound. Still being fought for. Duke has it with 35 seconds to play. Three-pointer is missed. And it will belong to the Tar Heels as it went over the baseline. 34.4 to go. 77 to 70. Duke will pick up full court pressure. May the inbounder. Gets it into Brooks, who is fouled immediately. It's up. And good. Brooks. Got them both. They missed shots of their own. Jones will pick up the basketball in the backcourt. 30 seconds to go. Barrett has it now. Whips it to Reddish. Fumbles, recovers. Back to Barrett. Slapped away by Brooks, but out of bounds off Brooks. In a very, very high-profile game. Three good ones. Barrett. Guarded three. No good off the side of the backboard. May with the rebound. He'll underhand to White. Don't believe Duke is going to foul, or maybe they will. White weaving around. Out to Williams. Ten seconds to go. 79-70 the score. Johnson with it for Carolina. Three, two, one. And for the first time since 2009, the Tar Heels sweep the season series from Duke. Winning in Durham by 16. Following it up with a nine-point win here in the Smith Center. And in the process of doing it, they will earn a share of the ACC regular season title. This is fun.